A Maryland woman says that she's paying the price for phone calls that she never made. And it's all because of something called spoofing. It can happen to anyone's phone at any time. Atria Godfrey's in our newsroom with a story you'll see only on 7 tonight. Atria, tell us about it. Well, Allison, imagine coming home to 40 voicemails that have been left on your home phone from people wanting to know why you called and were either rude or called and asked to speak to one of their young children. That's exactly what happened to this Maryland woman who says that she still has no idea how she ended up the victim of of a very common phone scam. These days when Sylvia Livingston's phone rings, she has some hesitation before answering. She's not here right now. Can I take a message? For three weeks, she and her husband were fielding up to 25 returned calls a day from people they didn't know. All people who said Sylvia's number had popped up on their caller ID. They said, um, I want to speak to your husband and got a little bit rude. So in this case, she was calling me back thinking she was calling the company that that or that called her and she wanted to speak to a supervisor. And there were more calls just like that one. Her answering machine was flooded with some 40 voicemails in one day from people claiming to have received a call from her number. Getting these phone calls every four or five minutes, um, that's it is disconcerting. The Federal Communications Commission, who Sylvia filed a complaint with, says by spoofing, identity thieves who want to collect sensitive information such as your bank account or other financial account numbers sometimes use caller ID spoofing to make it appear as though they are calling from your bank, credit card company, or even a government agency. And for Sylvia's sake, it is illegal, although tracking down the female caller with a foreign accent who's been using her number isn't easy. I have an elderly father. Um, my husband's niece was recently in a in a bad accident so we didn't dare not answer the phone now, Sylvia says she's been keeping a list of all the returned calls that she's been getting. She's asking those people who were phoned to also contact the FCC. And they say that this is actually pretty common, although usually the FCC says the scammers are out for money, not just to harass people. Live in the newsroom, Atria Godfrey, ABC 7 News.